you know, seriously, how am I supposed to calm down? How am I supposed to learn how to move on and learn how to not get, let anything get to me when the devil keeps tempting me? Now, how are you supposed to be okay when the devil try to try you? Like, I'm like, don't try me, okay? Try Jesus. And I ain't trying to be corny here. I'm serious. Boy, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. Best believe God is going to take care of his ass. Huh? It's like, seriously, how am I supposed to be okay? I'm, I'm too through with everything. I'm really upset. So everybody out there that's watching this video, please forgive me for being so angry and letting assholes like Willie Robinson get to me. Weak ass pillow princesses like him should not be getting to me in no way, shape or form. I'm sorry. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I know it's been a while. What's going on? So guess what? Y'all yeah, miss an epic boy. <laughs> nah, let me not laugh about that. How we going? Yo. It was about to go down. Seriously. Like, y'all, if y'all was here... 30 seconds ago, it was about to go down. Y'all would have seen an epic fight between me and my ex. Y'all would have seen it. Homeboy thought he could sit here and put his hands on me? Child, motherfucker, please. Do you remember who the fuck I am? Everybody, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all know who the fuck I am? Anybody that's been through hell and back with me? You should know me very fucking well by now. Yo. I am seriously. Yo. I was seriously rethinking every fucking thing, yo. Let me tell y'all something. It was about to go down. Something epic was about to go down. 30 seconds ago. Okay. So... Homeboy motherfucking Slick Rick. Super fly. Motherfucker, every name in the book you could think of. He thought he could get away with murder. He thought he was going to get away with shit. Motherfucker, please. Yo, let me tell y'all this fucking hot shit. It was about to be 10, 15 minutes of epic fight that was about to go down. Because motherfucker felt like he wanted to have selective hearing. And... Let me tell you this funny shit. Out of every fucking thing I said to him, he want to pretend like he has selective hearing, so he wants to hear what he wants to hear and leave out the rest. And I sat here for 20 seconds straight, explaining what the fuck that just happened, what I saw, and the reason why I was upset. And I repeated it back to his ass. And everything I'm saying to him, he's over here leaving out some of the things like pretend like he didn't hear everything so he want to hear what he wants to hear so he wants to sit here and try to fucking make me look bad and trying to play me so about i got upset because he wants to go home or he or he doesn't want to do this and he doesn't want to do that here's a motherfucking thing since when anybody in this motherfucking place or this motherfucking world ever seen sherelle get upset because Sherelle sees that you want to go home or Sherelle sees that you don't want to do this or you don't want to do that with her or whatever the case is. And I'm sitting here like, motherfucker, I don't get mad about shit like that. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm not your fucking exes. You could roll and slide and play with that, that type of game with your little ugly ass, fat ass exes in the past, but you can't do that shit with me. Seriously? 
I could get a, I could let a nigga get away with a lot of shit. But one thing I ain't gonna let a nigga get away with is disrespecting me and trying to have selective hearing and then want to try to play me to make me look like I'm the fucking immature one. Like I'm the one that's always getting tight for no fucking reason. Nigga, please. There ain't no re. There is no fucking such thing as getting mad for no fucking reason. There is always a fucking reason why a bitch getting mad. Whether it's a big reason or a small fucking reason. Nigga, is a fucking reason. Sit here. You getting tight. And I know the real reason why he got tight. It's not because of his fucking grandkids. It's the fact that he had another bitch at his fucking house waiting for him. He had a full day of fucking playing around with her. Thinking he was going to keep that as a secret. And then want to try to make up some story in my face as if I was going to be dumb enough to believe that shit. I never believe half the shit he said in the first fucking place. This is why I don't trust niggas. And I would never trust a motherfucker out here. Because until anybody could prove to me they could be trusted and that they don't lie about motherfucking things, I'm going to always believe what the fuck I see and I believe very little what I hear. And what I'm fucking seeing is somebody who keeps a lot of fucking secrets to himself. Somebody who's catching attitude for no reason. Somebody who's always making up some type of stupid ass lie that don't make no sense at all and i'm saying like yo seriously do he even realize that i'm not even falling for this shit do he even realize half the shit that that like i'm sitting here like okay like i don't fucking believe it like do you believe anything seriously believing your lies but best believe i won't believe in them I'm not going to believe in your bullshit. And I'm like, you know what? The devil is a liar. And I keep saying, you know what? I'm, yo, I cannot sit here and feed into nobody's bullshit. I cannot sit here and get into no fucking stupid ass argument over some dumb ass motherfucker who can't even tell black from blue. Like, seriously. I would never sit here a day of my fucking life and I promise to God on this shit, I would never, ever, and I do mean ever, sit here, believe in any motherfucking thing, okay? I'm not going to sit here argue with nobody about nothing. That's one thing about me, okay? You cannot physically sit here and say that I am getting upset for no fucking reason. Like, there's no reason why that I'm, like, getting upset and cursing all this shit. Here's the fucking thing. One thing I don't like is a hypocrite. He, yo, this motherfucking Willie was being a huge fucking hypocrite. And this is the second time he was being a hypocrite because he's sitting here constantly keep telling me. And I don't know why he keeps begging me to stop the arguing with him. Stop the fighting and all this shit. You asking me to stop all this shit. But nigga, you're the creator of the fucking argument. You don't want to ever be starting the fucking fights and the arguments. This is one thing I don't fucking get. How you going to sit here and tell somebody not to do shit? Nigga, when you're the one that started the shit. This nigga swear that he's a fucking angel. He, you, I could really believe that he is old and senile because he is 65 years old. So yeah, he's old. He has amnesia. He's probably suffering from dementia. Who knows? And this is no joke. I ain't making no jokes about nobody on dementia or nobody anything. This is serious, okay? Some of y'all might be laughing, but I'm dead ass serious because this don't make no fucking sense. Every single fucking time that I sit here and express myself about his actions and his fucking words, he get upset and then he say he didn't do it, he don't ever do it, and he's sitting there doing it. And that's the funny thing about it. I was like, yo... Every single time we have an argument, I should fucking record it because he keeps claiming he don't fucking say shit. He don't do shit. He don't catch attitudes and shit. Like, he's fucking Miss Mary Magdalene. Like, he's fucking innocent. Like, he's fucking pure. Get the fuck out of here. Like, nobody's going to sit here and get upset about something or have a reaction for nothing. Okay? Can't nobody sit here and make themselves upset for no reason. Nobody can sit here and get upset for no fucking reason. There is no such thing as that. Obviously, the person says something or did something to make you upset and to make you feel some type of way. Because it's just not going to be all created up in your fucking head for no fucking reason. So this is what I'm sitting here saying to him. I was like, how you going to sit here and say you don't fucking do shit 
and you don't even fucking realize half the shit you're doing. And then a couple of days ago, he said he had said it to me for the fourth fucking time how he wants me to let him know when he's doing something wrong or he said something wrong. He's all about bringing it to his attention. So a bitch fucking brings it to his attention and I'm saying it fucking nicely. He wanna sit here and deny it. So I'm sitting here looking at him like how the hell you, why the hell are you gonna sit here and say if you did something wrong, let me know. I'm telling you. So obviously you don't ever realize when you do something wrong. So this is why somebody like me is in the fucking picture and is coming to your attention and telling you this shit. If I'm bringing this shit to your attention, you can't sit here and deny it because you sit here and he, in a way, he fucking claiming that he don't realize that he did anything fucking wrong. So now that you fucking realize and then you still want to be in denial? Like, what sense does that fucking make? Seriously. And I had to laugh at this shit because it's like, this nigga always fucking sitting here arguing, disrespecting me. You causing an argument to fucking happen because you're constantly catching fucking attitude. You're being disrespectful. You're making all types of fucking faces. And then you sit here and get mad at me because I express myself in a way that you never seen before because I'm not like anybody else you ever fucking deal with. I'm a different type of breed. How many times I gotta tell you this shit? You're not gonna meet nobody like me. I'm a different special kind of fucking breed. How I express, express myself is different from how everybody express myself. If I feel like something is kind of fucking weird and I'm sitting here not trying to say something I'm going to give you that fucking like what the fuck look like really if I feel like something is being said the wrong way and I'm trying to correct you on this shit listen before you start talking or before you start reacting because you don't know what the fuck you did or you didn't realize motherfuckers can act very fast shit could go down really fucking quick and you won't realize a motherfucking thing until somebody says to you like yo bro let me tell you this shit this is what we're da 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 so if I'm, I'm sitting here fucking telling you what the fuck is going on and you want to sit here mind you didn't have a you didn't even fucking realize what the fuck you did and i'm sitting here bringing it to your attention you want to sit here and fucking deny it nigga you ain't no fucking angel you have your fucked up ways you very fucked up in your fucking way you and then he think he's fucking slick nigga when it comes to me you ain't never that fucking slick because i catch your ass on point i catch you just like I catch every motherfucker out here. Y'all think y'all can sit here and slide right through. Do what the fuck you want to do. Think nobody's going to catch you doing shit. Nigga, I'm always catching motherfuckers doing shit. Seriously, I'm catching you saying the slickest shit out your mouth. Excuse me. So I'm sitting here trying to calm down, drinking my fucking wine. And I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, he got a lot of fucking nerves to tell me what to do. When I'm trying to act controlling and possessive. And he's doing the shit himself. That's a hypocritical thing. Am I not fucking telling the truth? Like, sit here. Stop telling fucking bitches that you don't want them to sit here and argue with you. You don't want this shit to go down. Nothing. You don't want no fucking fights. But you're causing the fucking fight, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. What sense does that make? If you're the fucking creator of the fucking arguments and the drama... Don't sit here and tell a bitch to stop arguing with you. Don't tell a bitch to sit here and not catch a fucking attitude or not feel some type of way. It's like he's going to try to tell me, don't express myself. Don't say shit. It's like he's trying to shut me up, but it's okay for him to say what the fuck he want to say and do what the fuck he want to do. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck you think you talking to like that? Like, do you even fucking know who the fuck I am? That's why I was like, yo, it's so funny. I miss my old niggas because anybody fucking that fucks with me, that knows me very fucking well, Y'all know who the fuck I am? Like, bitch, telling Sherelle to fucking not say shit, not react to shit, not have a fucking attitude. It's like telling the fucking crackhead, you can't have crack, you can't drink, you can't smoke. Get the fuck out of here. One thing Sherelle's not going to do is bow down to any nigga and say yes sir, no sir. One thing Sherelle's not going to do is sit here and do what the fuck you tell her to do. Last time I checked, my parents is James Rouch. It's James Barnes and Cynthia Rouch. Okay? Not Willie Robinson or anybody else out here in this motherfucking neighborhood. So seriously, I can't sit here and stress this shit enough. You treat people how you want to be treated. But if you want to start your bullshit and start disrespecting motherfuckers, be prepared to get disrespected right back. Male or female, doesn't matter. 
You're not going to sit here and act like a total asshole to somebody and expect for somebody to be nice to you. I damn sure ain't kissing nobody's ass, okay? Because niggas, y'all ain't shit. Understand very clearly, I don't need y'all. I might want y'all, but I don't need y'all. And in case you don't know where the fuck that comes from, that comes from an independent fucking woman, okay? I don't need nobody out here in this fucking world. And I would never beg for nobody to be in my life. I would never beg nobody to be mine. Because at the end of the day, if it's not meant for me to be in your life, and it's not meant for you to be with me and be my husband or whatever, I'm going to keep it moving and I'm going to keep searching for that right one until God or God puts somebody in front of me. Point blank. There's no reason for me to be stressing about no fucking nigga. Okay, especially some nigga with a two-inch dick. I don't stress about a motherfucking thing. And I would never be caught stressing about a motherfucking thing. I never caught myself stressing about a motherfucker, especially that don't do much shit for me. They ain't shit but bring a bunch of drama and headache in my fucking life. Like, get over yourself. And you constantly want to be Captain Saberho. You constantly want somebody to feel needy. Okay, you want a bitch to need you, not want you. But bitch, you're not going to get me to need you. You're only going to get me to want you. And I'm only going to want you for one fucking thing. So let's be fucking clear. If you really want me to fucking get blown with this shit, because right now this nigga sitting on cloud nine thinking, oh, I'm in heaven. I, I could do this. I could do that. I got somebody who's up under me and all this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Like, nigga, wake the fuck up from cloud nine and come back down to earth. Because the raw fucking truth is going to hit you like a motherfucker. Ain't no bitch out here is going to tolerate a nigga with a two inch dick that has nothing to show for it. Okay? You're a bunch of fucking headache. You're lazy, selfish ass motherfucker. Keeping so many fucking secrets. Okay? You want to have more than one hoes. I don't know what these hoes is going to do with that two inch dick of yours. But go right ahead, sweetie. If you want to have fun, go have fun with your hoes. I will encourage you. I'm not one to stop anybody from being a hoe. Everybody's entitled to be a hoe. So you can go be a hoe. Do what the fuck you want to do. Hey, congrats to you. I would clap to you for that. But I would never stress to you about it. I would never stress you out over anything like that. I would never stress out about anything. I don't stress over no hoe. Sherelle Barnes would never stress out over no hoe. Okay? And any of my ex can fucking tell you. I would never stress out over no two dick, two inch dick hoe. Let's be fucking serious. And I don't chase niggas. I am being chased. And I show proof of that every fucking day. I'm always being chased by guys and girls. Get the fuck out of here. I could walk to the supermarket with a fucking scarf on my head, clothes, crazy baggy, with no makeup on, and I'm still getting niggas hollering at me. Get the fuck out of here. I even get looked. Even if it's just a hello, how you doing, beautiful. Mind you, no makeup, baggy clothes. So if I could get a nigga looking at my worst, nigga, you would never have a clue what I could do with at my best. Get the fuck out of here. You better recognize who the fuck you talking to. Motherfucker, I'm Sherelle. Sherelle motherfucking Barnes. I don't stress over no nigga. I open that door and you get to walk right in or out. Have a good night. Don't worry, y'all. I'm still single. I'm gonna let God place the love of my life in front of me i'm not looking for nobody understand that fact i'm not going out looking for no man i'm gonna let that man come to me if it's meant for me to have real love in my life god would place that right man in front of me and bless me with a lifetime full of love and hope and whatever i've been praying for for years and it will be stress-free until then, I'm staying single and I'm still, and I'm going to go back to being celebrate. Best believe that. So, bye my little loves.